Hey everyone, what we're going to cover this time is a defect from the factory in the Airbus 330 and 340 series by Supreme Hobbies. What's happened is when they molded the fuselage parts, one of the panels that's used as an ESC or speed controller cooling bay is actually misaligned here and the duct itself does not flow any air as it's molded from the factory. So what we're going to use is some simple scotch tape and an X-Acto knife, a business card, and some filler. We'll take care of the problem and resolve the cooling issue. At that point, you're free to go about your business with the build, but you want to make sure that before you operate your Airbus 340 or 330 series or the MRTT, the tanker transport version, you're going to want to at least resolve the cooling deficiency that comes from the factory. So let's get started. So if you don't have a container of this foam filler, consider getting some or use some lightweight spackle. Either one should work, especially given this is not structural. Let me show you how this thing finished up by coming in close and you'll see where we've actually removed the material that's in line with the aft exhaust duct. See both of these exhaust ducts here line up with the inlets now. Whereas if you look right there, that's where the old one or original factory duct was molded. The problem is there's no cutout on the backside to allow for airflow. All right, so this foam tack foam filler is what we used. It worked well, it's not structural, so you could actually use light spackling or lightweight spackling from the Home Depot or one of the home stores. All right, let's come in close. We'll show you the finished product. It's pretty straightforward. We've taken the, the inlet, which was originally located right here, and we've cut a new inlet out right here to line up with the factory ducting. By doing that, we've created a similar shape, even though it may not be perfect, and we've gone ahead and used the material that we cut out from here to fill the factory inlet duct. You come over it with the filler itself, and all you have to do really is just tape it off so you don't get messy with this thing. Pre-tape it with some magic tape or some scotch tape or some low-tack painter's tape, whatever it takes 
just so you don't get it all over the place. Come in with two or three coats, let it dry to uh, a hardness, and you can actually doctor it if you want to get scale or take any of the indentations out that are there. I went ahead and just left it the way it is because this thing's probably going to get abused anyway. All right, the foam tack foam filler is what we used. You can use anything that's lightweight, including lightweight spackle from the Home Depot or Lowe's or one of those. We'll come in close, I'll show you the finished product. This is where the original duct was. This is the new duct that I cut out. You can see that it's similar in shape to the original factory duct, which is right here. But I went ahead and just cut my own version of one. So it lined up with the inlet port that's underneath there and allows for free flow through the ESC cooling bay. Again, this is super important if you have four speed controllers with an A340. You're not going to have as much heat generated with the A330, but remember you're running 4S power with the A330 versus 3S power with the A340. Uh, this is fairly clean. We taped it off and we got a good job, uh, I think, overall. I'll show you the back side where you can see that it's now free flowing and it would just go right on through. All right, that completes the ESC cooling bay modification. Don't do without this modification. Do it in your own way if you want. It doesn't matter as long as you got airflow through the ESC cooling bay. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, as always, get a haircut.